News 46, local coverage you can count on. Partners Medical Group. Our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. We're here at Nye County Emergency Services where this morning we met with Sheriff Tony DeMeo and Assistant Sheriff Rick Marshall and part of the HAZMAT team to dispose of marijuana as well as prescription medications. We're going to speak to the sheriff and assistant sheriff right now. Well this morning we were uh, actually getting ready to destroy about uh, 300 pounds of uh, marijuana and prescription drugs. These are uh, the marijuana is from the recent arrests and uh, the grow houses that we hit and prescription drugs is part of our 24-7 program of uh, collecting prescription drugs uh, from within uh, Prum Valley in Resonai County and uh, destroying it rather than getting out in the street or into the septic systems uh, which uh, poison our well water. So it's a it's a program we've been doing now for about what two and a half years and uh, yeah two and a half years and we destroy pretty much conservatively speaking over probably about two million doses that, and that's just conservatively speaking. We usually get uh, sometimes we'll uh, a couple. One of the uh, uh, the drug uh, people turn in drugs. One of the things that come to mind is uh, we had two thirty-three gallon garbage cans full of pre prescription drugs from one house. Wow. This is a great program, and it does it can get in the groundwater, can't it? If it is destroyed and people flush them down their toilets and things like that, yes, it can. They have a place out at the uh, Prump Valley Disposal at the dump that's set aside for disposing these types of medications. And how do we go about the disposal? We, we collect it. Uh, we uh, we destroy the the doses can't be used. We put in a in, in a mix that allows us to then dispose of it in, in that area of the dump, which is reserved pretty much for hazards, hazmat. And, you know, low, low level hazmat, not hazmat until you think about as as uh, a lot of the uh, poisons and stuff. But uh, you know, household has hazards. P the regular citizens in town can call up and have you pick up their prescription medications or they can drop them off at the sheriff's office and have them properly disposed of? That's correct. It's a program that Sheriff DeMail started, as he said, about two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. We call it Operation Medicine Cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you have ones that are just expired you forgot about or you're healed and you don't need them anymore or they're your children's medications and you want to dispose of them. So we have that ability to do so. And with the marijuana that uh, we are disposing of, how are we doing that today? That it's being burnt. We take down to the side, to the dump, and uh, we we put it in a pit, and it's uh, it's burnt. Uh, the only way we can actually get rid of we have to get rid of it because we've been collecting so much of it that uh, you know it's overwhelming the uh, evidence uh, our evidence storage. But this is like we it was originally 400 pounds. By the time we dried it and everything, it came down to about 300 pounds, and uh, it is something we've been doing. Uh, this is I think uh, within the last month, probably about the fourth or fifth time we've actually been destroying marijuana. Mm -hmm. 